Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about servlet node and application properties. These are the again one of the important aspect in Avaya OD building block. Servlet node is basically where we use the uh, properties or the Java site, right? If you want to integrate with the Java site or want to do any data action or web service integration or database integration, right? So then you use servlet node. Another topic which we are going to discuss or showcase the code over here is the application properties okay so application properties is not defined uh, in the od developer guide but uh, it is one of the important aspects when we do the development right so let me give you a little bit background about what exactly we are covering over here today uh, this is a servlet node right uh, servlet node we use for again for the backend side and we are going to discuss about the application properties right so let's say if you have a requirement right where for the dev in, when you deploy the particular war file right your IVR application into dev and then you move to staging or QA and then you move to the production right so there are prefetch values like the VDNs number the web service URL uh, let let's say user id and password or something for those or some other parameters which are configurable and change from environment to environment right and you don't want to do hard code in your application you can do obviously you can put the data node over here and do it over here but the thing is then you have to change or generate the war file again for each and every change to overcome this we have something called properties uh, files which we can leverage and use to pull the information right so i created one application property file uh, what you have to do is just go to your data click on new okay and click on other if you don't see the file over here and search for file okay so once the file comes over here you select the next and give the name right so you can give different file properties file name also so let's say dev dot properties file okay something like that and once you click finish it will create over there okay so i have already created an application property file over here what we do is simply a mapping okay so this will be the key okay like in the hash map and this will be the value right so i've created already two uh, uh, entries over there uh, one is dev dot web service one is fraud and one more we can add is something like qa let's say this is for the web service just giving example it has no significance uh, right now okay now how to consume this thing in your application right so we will go over here and we will pull the servlet node again as i said uh, earlier right uh, the servlet node is used for your integration with web services it can be with the database it can be for your complex logic it can be converting your data object date object or something like that right wherever you want to use the normal java uh, features uh, let's rename it something called like a read property property okay now once you go over here go click on edit read properties okay now over here uh, we have the function called servlet implementation right one thing to note if, if you change somewhere here or somewhere down right uh, whenever the, you build the application that will get overwrite so make sure that you write everything inside of this section inside out of sublet implementation right now for the property let's I have already wrote the code over here that I will paste and again for this you don't require any additional jar uh, these are all part of your runtime jar RT jar which you get from the SDK uh, JDK sorry okay so what I did over here is let me do a little bit formatting
okay now let's see what we did over here now first of all uh, what we did is included the survey context okay so you get the context directly so you don't have to bother over this is already supported okay and then you get the uh, path so usually this path belongs to your home application directory this is all java related or servlet related uh, things if you are aware about it you get aware that there is a server con context is there then there is a server config is there from config you can get real path absolute path those things are there right uh, now from here what i did is i went to our path like data where we created the application right property so it is inside of data and inside of property application properties right now over here what we are doing is we are creating a properties object and from properties object uh, we are giving the path okay so the path of the file which is to be read okay and now what it will do it will load the property okay now what i will do is let's say if i want to fetch the value for this one right i will use dev and let's say i will put over here and i will put the something like web service url okay now this way you will get the value of this one now let's say there is a requirement for how can i say uh based on the environment variable so let's say if you create one more like uh, in uh, environment where so which one to choose let's say to choose either to choose dev one or prod one or qa one so let's say if we give environment variable right so what i will do first is let's copy and paste okay and let's make a web service sorry so string web service url i will initialize with empty string right now okay now what i will do is i will go to application properties and i will put over here environment okay so what we got is env where right now based on if env where equal ignore case is equal to let's say qa similarly else if and then else now what we are doing over here is assigning the web service url value so one for this one one for this one and one for this one let's delete this one now now for qa we will fetch from qa okay for dev we will fetch from dev okay and el rust list is for prod okay now what happens over here once you assign this particular value to your uh, variable from od side right uh, right now based on the environment variable let's say the one one you were given over here you just change the value over here let's say if you want now you're deploying to the prod right and you change to the prod uh, so what will happen is now it will go to else and over here it will pull the value of production web service url so this is how you use the application property which is not given in the developer guide but this is one of the important aspect uh, when we do the development and because since there are multiple environments get involved uh, so this comes very handy okay yeah so this is little bit about the servlet and little bit about uh, the application properties more on the servlet how to integrate with the web service those will come in the coming sessions hope you like the video uh, if you have any query just put the comment in the youtube comment section and as always uh, like and subscribe thank you